Hey guys, welcome back to our PoE playthrough. What we're going to do right now is I'm trading one of these for six of these because we're going to trade for another item. Now we can also go to the uh, hideout um, to go complete the trade, but we can also use the NPC that we did before. Like I think this was on like the very first one, but we're going to go and put this in. He's going to give us six orbs of alchemy and then now I'll have six of these. Now, uh, these are pretty easy to get if you didn't get one. Uh, I think last time we traded like a couple of these for it. Uh, but there is a good way where you can trade currency. And this is how I got that guy real quick. So you could just go to the Path of Exile trade website. And then you just want to click over here on the top left where it says bulk item exchange. And then you could say, I want, let's say, chaos orbs. And I have this. Or in our case, we wanted orbs of alchemy and we have chaos orb. And you just hit search. And then we whisper the guy that had like uh, one to six. So there's different ratios that people trade for and you can just hit like, you know, contact and then just like the trade, it's gonna whisper them. But let's go ahead and leave this guy's party. Uh, let's go back to act. We're actually gonna go back to act three in a second, but I wanna show you guys the trade cause we're gonna get an item here that uh, will help us out. So if we if we want to, we could have gotten a Tessalio sign. This is another item I was thinking about getting cause it gives us a good amount of chance to freeze, which is kind of nice to have. But on top of that, there is an item, uh, Thrill Steel, which is a helmet that will give us um, armor, but more importantly, it just gives us Onslaught. So we can go ahead and whisper this person, and it's only going to cost one. And I was going to see if we can get any other things. Let's go leave this party. So right now, we're going to wait for them to send us an invite. And oh, what we could look for, actually, it, what would be smart is see if we can get a four. Oh. Well, right now, do we need both of these? No, we don't really need both of these. If we did have the ability to get a four linked, that would be better. Oh, we're going to put one of these in. And then we get the helmet, and we are good to go. Now, if I had one Chaos Orb, which I do right now, but let's see if they, there is a four linked. Uh, so in minimum four, we could also link it ourselves. We can try. So a four link will cost one Chaos Orb. But it is armor based, so it's going to have a high chance to roll specifically the reds. So it might not be the smartest thing to do to go for that. We could also try to get a Fox Shade upgrade. Let's see if we can see one. Fox Shade upgrade. That's a four link. There's one for one Chaos Orb, which we bought that one before, but this is the one that we have. We could also try to RNG this one, but we could screw ourselves over because we wouldn't then meet the requirements for it. So we're gonna go swap to this one. Let's see, we do want precision. We have to have this in our build. We don't need charge dash, that thing is memes at this point. So now uh, we're gonna have what's called Onslaught. So the helmet does nothing but gives us Onslaught. It also gives us armor, but Onslaught, what that does is it's going to grant us the ability to have 20% uh, increased uh, attack speed, cast speed, and movement speed. So movement speed is key in this game, and we're going to get extra movement speed with this. So what I ideally want to try to do is try to get a four link right now, if we can, because we can get fortification for even more tankiness and a little bit more damage. So what I want to do right now for upgrades is I want to look for some boots. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go to the trade website, type in boots, and then I also want it to be for links. Um, where's links? So I want minimum four and see if one of these can come up. Um, so you might be able to find some like really cheap ones. And ideally I would like to have movement speed uh, as well and uh, life. That would be like kind of like the Omega awesome roll. But I need to also remove sometimes things to check. Now this one does give us more into strength and if I remove this, you'll see then I can't use these gloves because I have leveled this up. Now, if you want to see the exact amount that you need, you can go in your uh, to your passive tree, get the item, remove it, and I'll tell you the exact amount. So we only need six strength. It's a small amount. And if I really want to get the strength, there's a strength node here. There's also one uh, towards the top. So if I needed that strength, now I could just remove this. I could re get another gem, level it up. It's not that big of a deal. But it is something to consider. Let's see what else we have, though. So ideally, we'd try to find something that has uh, stats that we can use. Uh, and only I only want to pay, let's say, one alchemy. So I type that in, and we can hit search, because I feel like this is an area where we can get an upgrade. 
We can also type in what we want, because I definitely want it to have at least some sort of movement speed. So we're going to go 15, uh, ideally 15% movement speed. Oh, we have one. Okay, now let's see if we can get one with six strength. So we're typing strength, six, and then hit enter. Oh, cool. One orb of alchemy. It's giving us everything that we need. Uh, ideally, we get armor and evasion, but this requires us to be level 51, and we are not level 51. So I can go to the filters, and let's see if we have one for 35, level 35. Boom, we only got two results, so that's going to be very easy. So um, this one is going to roll with more reds. This one will roll with red and green, and I definitely want to get this one. So let's hopefully get this one for one orb alchemy. Now, again, trading is always optional, but like these are small currencies that you should be able to get. And so let's go ahead and get this one from this guy. Go ahead and shift. We actually need to get rid of these garbage things. Heck, those boots that we have in our inventory might actually be an upgrade. So it's our final trade that we need <laughs> uh, to get as far as our upgrades go. We could get better rings too. Um, this is all just part of uh, our like progression. So we're going to go ahead and do this. And let's go ahead and put in this. And mouse over, make sure it's the correct item. There's not really that many people that will scam in this game. If people scam, 99% of the time it's on accident. And they just have so many items. Oh, this actually did give us... Well, this has 40, 46 life. Okay, we could definitely sell this. We can actually go really quickly into how to sell items. So you do need what's called a premium stash tab. And uh, we can go rename this one to uh, sell one. Oops. Sell, and then we're gonna just going to go ahead and enter. Now, you, you're going to need what's called the premium stash tab. Let's talk more about this later. I'm just going to go ahead and set this up right now. But uh, note that we will do this later. So I'm going to go ahead and put like one. Let's just put one chaos orb on it. See if it sells. Oh, wait. That's actually what we can do is uh, negotiable price from all items. Just put one chaos orb. And I'm just going to throw in like a bunch of stuff that like, you know, maybe my old gear, I don't need it anymore. And then at some point, sometimes people will be like, oh, I want that item for whatever reason. Uh, we don't really need this quest item. But you can't just throw quest items uh, on the ground. Uh, some quest items uh, you you want to actually complete, but this one, we don't really need it. But what we're going to do, like I said before, we're going to go back to Act 3 now. Now now is where the actual gameplay starts. I know we had seven minutes of trading, but I wanted to get some upgrades. And since I'll probably be using this helmet for a while, if I have, do I have uh, armor scrap to show you guys? Okay, so armor scrap over here, uh, you'll see it, it will give us extra armor if we put on it. Now, depending on what item it is, the rarity, that will change what we're getting in terms of like the percent. But you can also get these whetstones, which will increase the DPS. So now we can do actually, you know what? Let's do more trading. Cause I think, you know, again, it, it's just good knowledge uh, to have since already here so we're gonna go to level 35 and then we're gonna go to any weapon uh and hopefully we just don't see bows i mean you could probably filter it out via some other way to get rid of bows but we just want as much dps as possible for uh maybe we'll go to we can maybe go like three three uh alks so orb alchemy so we're just looking for whatever is giving the most dps uh for that uh, amount so if we want to check the dps of your weapon uh, the easiest way is to honestly have this program called Awaken PoE Trade. This one's telling me right now this, this is giving me 205. And so the difference between a 205 and a 3, that's a pretty big amount. And that's a 2. So this is a two-handed sword. It's giving us cold, lightning, and increased attack speed. And it's giving us strength. That actually kind of checks out for something that we could actually use. So we're going to go ahead and whisper him, see if we can get this item for two uh, alchemies. And if we don't get it off him, we can go whisper the next guy. And it's kind of just something that you're gonna get used to in this game where people just don't respond so i always kind of look at two options i really don't like having axes because their base is usually a lot slower for the attack speed we can also look at the actually this is what was ours was our 200 our dps on this was 205 and if you're wondering what the tool that i'm using is called uh, awaken poe trade um I linked it in the very first video, but if I remember, I'll link it again. It's a free tool that just kind of helps out with just other things in the game. But we can get basically, you know, 30% more DPS is not anything to, to skip out on. But since that guy's not responding, our damage is actually pretty good already. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, we could also look at other rings. Now, as far as rings go to get upgrades, uh, there's just so many paths to get uh, upgrades you can get elemental damage but i'm not gonna worry about it too much if that guy doesn't respond it's fine but i do want to change the colors of these because i want to get these to be 
two green and two blue. Uh, I'm sorry, two green and two red. So this is like a, it's a really easy hit on this because its base is evasion and armor, so it shouldn't be too hard. There we go. So we go elemental damage with attacks, lightning strike, added cold damage, and now we're going to be running that fortify support, uh, wherever that was, that we got from Siosa. And boom, we have this. And now we can replace this if we want to. And we definitely have so many more upgrades. Uh, one of the other upgrades that we could get, uh, let me see if I can get one of these. Um, Prism Weave. This is something we actually should have just bought for like one Chaos Orb. Probably would have made our build way better. Um, but we can also go to the bulk item exchange, say, I want Chaos Orb, I have this. And let's see if we can convert whatever we have, which is, what is it, five? So if we can convert five, uh, so it looks like seven to one is what people are going for in the game. But uh, that is something that, uh, you know, you can do in the game. But now that we're okay-ish, like I said, I, I could get more upgrades, but I just want to play the game. So we're going to click on this thing in Act 3. It's this little, like, thing in the center of town. And uh, we're going to go through it. Also, what we opened up was, like, the there's, like, a shop that if you want to get, like, different skins and stuff. And uh, that will allow you to change the skins. Now, there are free uh, skins in the game also. Like, if I want to equip any of these, a lot of these you can get in the game by just playing. Uh, in fact, I'll equip all these. All of these were free skins. Uh, let's see. I'll just show you guys what they look like. And again, all of these that we got were free. You uh, will be given the loyalty and also equip this. I think, yeah, this is these were all free skins that we had acquired. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this uh, thing and then just go in. Now in this area you cannot use a portal, by the way. Uh, we actually should probably carry another uh, flask, but. The cos the, these are just cosmetics. They don't actually affect gameplay at all. We can uh, activate our buff again. And now we're going to be a little bit faster. It's awesome. Got more movement speed, more attack speed. And there's a website called PoE Lab that kind of tells you the route of the lab. These change all the time, so by the time you're watching this video, these may change. We actually should probably run two flasks. I recommend, highly, highly recommend to run two flasks. Uh, during the lab. Was, okay, so the one important thing, because we don't have very much armor, there is a lot of damage that you will take from the boss. Okay, so some of these will open up uh, some sort of like little reward. Let's see, open, open this thing up. We've got a ring. Let's see, the Onyx amulet might be actually useful. So our amulet isn't uh, good at all, so we can... Definitely get an upgrade there. But now that we have like this triple pierce on our attacks, man, it, our our clear speed is going to be excellent. Now we have this little upgrade here that can help out. Uh, let's see, does it show it? So next Gorgo a hit will be instantly killed. These are kind of like side bosses that you can find in this area, but these areas always change. But the layout uh, may change uh, a little bit too in terms of like kind of where the exit is because we're looking for the exit right now. Okay, I guess it's is it is really this way? It's usually like up and to the right. So it looks like they have kind of changed up a lot. Or did I miss out on like a little like small little corner? Looks like we're going going this way now. But in this area, our goal is to uh, complete the area. And again, you cannot go back to town. Otherwise, you will have to reset this whole thing. Do not go back to town. Very important. We're going to upgrade fortification, upgrade our dash gem. That's, no, what, is it really this way? No, because like that's where we started. Okay. So maybe it's just to the right. Okay, this is interesting because this, is it like a little switch that I need to hit? Oh, you know what? It's right here. <laughs> it's that that small little thing. When will I change to bow? Um, I mean, we're probably going to stick with melee for this league because that's kind of like the hot thing. 
But you could easily swap to bow if you wanted to. But I'm probably going to go Flicker Strike and we'll pretty much have the same speed as like the Teleport Bow build. If that's what you really liked. But yeah. Alright, so we have another passive point. And in these areas, you are safe. But remember, the game never pauses because this is an online-only game. So we have an extra point. Uh, what I do want to try to get is more HP, but I got to make sure our accuracy is, okay, not uh, over the amount of our, uh, our HP is over the amount of our accuracy. So again, take these slow. Um, what you can also do is bring summon skeletons, and that's a like another strategy. Kind of want to swap the weapon skin. We'll swap it after we clear out this one. It's just visually distracting for me. So this is a Zaro. When he does that, you'll hear a little like wind up sound on a lot of these attacks. He's a very fair boss though. He's one of the most fair bosses in the entire game in my opinion. But you definitely want to be on the lookout for when he actually attacks. When you hear any like kind of wind ups, move away. Uh, the reason why is he hits very, very hard for physical damage. So you're going to do about one third of the damage to him and then he'll go away you fight him three times but uh most of the slams will absolutely one shot you but again it's relatively fair if you die on it don't worry uh, my first few times on this boss uh were not the easiest now this thing like you can move it there's a lot of puzzles in this area this is called the lab but you don't have to do all of them like we did the other one we got uh, kind of a reward by going in the long path but most of the time you don't need to do it uh, unless it's on the harder difficulties, then some of them you, you do kind of need to do. But you can also uh, go through the gates with dash. So there's not really a, a good map in this area. Uh, I mean, you have like this map, but to know where you're kind of at, like you're going to go... The little skulls are basically the boss fights. So if we go from here to this area, this would be the next boss. But there's another path somewhere in here. It's probably going to be to the right. Uh, that will give us another, like, secret. It could be a key that will open up another chest or something. Well, hello, Alexis. How you doing? When the time comes to strike, an emperor strikes without hesitation. And at Kentucky, thank you so much for the TikTok if I just saw that. But yeah, if you want to change anything like your potion and stuff, you're going to have to refill them. But in this area, this area is safe. You can go freely change whatever skin that you want. And uh, there are uh, these challenges um, that I want to show you because uh, it's tied to cosmetics. Uh, so where is it? Uh, challenges. So on these challenges, you have a bunch of different things that you can do. And as you complete these, these are how you get all these skins. These are from different seasons. Uh, they only kind of activate on one season. So if you don't play that season, you can't really get the skin. But if you complete these, these are how I got all of these skins. I did technically buy one skin in the game, but uh, I don't have any of those equipped. So uh, we can go and equip. Uh, let's see. Okay. I don't have any other one other than that one for this one. Okay. It's fine. I don't really like the visual clutterness of that one but that this one looks okay so let's go ahead and continue again the skins don't do anything there's no like uh, advantage that you get but again attack once and move this is a very dangerous boss fight for our build because it, it, any ranger build has evasion and uh, it's just it's just normal that on the slams he will one shot so just be careful we may be able to survive one. I'm not going to take the risk because if you die, you got to do this whole thing all over again. You don't have to do all those trials and all the acts, but you will absolutely have to do the uh, this whole area. I mean, the first one only takes like five minutes. It's not that big of a deal if you die. I mean, we haven't died at all during this, which is fine. But if you die, don't worry. There's no big penalty until you get to like level 90 plus. The penalty in death in this game is you lose out on XP. And it doesn't matter in the earlier stages, but late game, oh, believe me, it matters. It absolutely matters. Because <laughs> it takes so dang long to even get just even like 10% XP. That could take a long time. Uh, also, be very cautious on actually clicking on these. In fact, I shouldn't have even clicked on it. If you get frozen, I have like immunity to freeze. But let's see if we got anything good. Ooh, this is... uh double as uh, cold and fire if i just had lightning as increased fizz damage which isn't too bad uh i'll think about it oh elemental damage with attack skills is good uh dex and int uh, let's see what do we have on this oh that's does it have any resistance no resistance but this will technically give us d more damage we we'll go from three three five five to three seven it's not bad we lose out on six resistances but do i care about that no not really 
Oh, this area has fire, so we need to be a little bit cautious. Although, I think we just opened up the gate for that, so... Sometimes you'll, you'll run to these areas where it looks memes, like, I don't even know why we would want to go that path when there wasn't even a good reward. But there are sometimes secrets in these areas where, like, you have to click on something and it'll let you go through. That looks like we gotta go this way. So take take your time with these. Unless you have crazy amounts of, like, regen. Just wait for the thing to go turn uh, colors and then move. I, I'm going to just absolutely just run through this, but again... If this is your first time, take absolutely take your time. Otherwise, you will die and you'll feel frustrated. But yeah, you can just dash through it. But again, if it's your first time, feel free to take your time. There's also a lot of cheats that you can do, basically, and you can like dash across this and skip <laughs> parts of the puzzles. I don't think they should allow that, to be honest. But, I mean, it works, so why not? I'm going to teach you guys how to play the game effectively. We also, since we're running a two-handed sword, we can just go, like, run, like, leap. But again, watch your HP. You can just pop a potion and walk through it. It's usually not that big of a deal. So let's see if we're in the correct area. So we're going to check here. So this area, that's fine. Uh, we could have ended up here or here. Uh, well, actually, it could only be up here because there's no other, like, line through it. So we're on the right path. And it's showing it, it should be to the right. So we're going to go on the right side. Again, be kind of careful of the porcupines. As if you if you pop the porcupine, uh, sometimes you will self elim yourself because they pop for physical damage and the ranger class in general. You don't really build armor; you build evasion, which means you just don't take damage. But there are certain spells and things where you're just going to take the damage, and physical damage is the most dangerous damage for us right now. But that's about to change very soon once we get this upgrade that we're going to get, which is awesome. So let's see if we're in the right area. We are not in the right area. Now, if I wanted to get a silver key to open up another chest, I could get one, but I don't really care about that. I'm just here to get my super class, my ascendancy. Do I still play Last Epoch? Yeah, uh, X5. If you check uh, my most recent VOD, we were actually playing it while waiting in the queue time today. <laughs> but uh, let's go ahead and continue. So, uh, we don't really need to change anything. But if I needed to store stuff, that's totally fine. Oh, it's weird. It's like down here. All right. So, oh, wait, what is this? Oh, we're in the silver key. This is not where, we, oh, wait, what? Oh, okay, that's what I was saying. It's weird that it's this way. It's, it's actually up. It just didn't have the little orange door. Okay, so in some of these areas, there will be some traps and you need to be cautious of them. I think this one, they're, they're like disabled, but there are times where these traps will be active. There might be some spikes and stuff, but it's not that bad. Just watch out when you hear the slam or that attack. You want to be behind him most of the time. That is the key. You can also run a granite flask that also makes things easier, and then you can face tank all of them, all of these. But I didn't happen to have one. He's again, he's a he's a very fair boss. All right, so make sure you pick up the treasure key, and if there's anything else that you want, feel free to get it. Um, we can maybe get an upgrade on the gloves. Let's see if this helmet is any good. Otherwise, I'm throwing it on the ground. Okay, it's not going to be our onslaught. Uh, ones and let's go grab the the gloves yes let's see because our gloves definitely could use a replacement uh adds some damage uh but the reason why i like these is it gives accuracy it gives us extra well technically on low life we get more movement speed but it gives us accuracy rating these easily could be replaced but there's not really any pair of gloves is going to give you 30 percent attack speed so now we get to open up one of these chests Before if you have more keys you can open up more justice, chests but not really a big deal now this is a cool thing, you can add quality to a gem, or you can transfer a skill gem to a random transfigured gem of the same color. I'm going to throw one of these in and we're going to see what we get. This is, definitely don't do the quality of the gem, it's not worth it in the very early stages. We're going to see what we can get. Some gems that are trans, uh, transfigured gems can be actually worth a lot. So what did we get? We got Storm of the Fence, Wild Strike of the Extremes, and Artillery Fo Ballista of Focus Fire. Now, some of these can be worth a lot. I'm going to use... Uh, the Path of Exile trade website to find out which one is better. So we have uh, a Focus Fire. Let's see if we can see if this is worth anything. So I'm going to type this in, and this is going to be how we're going to determine if it's worth anything. You see this one's going for two orbs of alchemy. Check like the top like two or three prices, so that one's not really worth that much. Um, I mean, it's still better than nothing. I'll still pick that up. Strike of Extremes. Okay, let's go see what this one is going for. This one is going for 
three orbs of alchemy, or I actually left one chaos. Okay, so we're gonna maybe take that one. So storm rain of the fence, of the fence. Check what these are worth. This one is two alchemy. So the best one is going to be the wild strike. Wild strike of extremes. So yeah, I don't even check the price again. So I'm gonna take this one, I'm gonna take it, and we get this gem. And now we're going to sell the gem. Uh, if we can, if we can get one chaos orb for it, cool. And hopefully it will sell uh, in a short amount of time. And then we're gonna click on the altar of ascendancy and we're gonna become the warden. So click on the warden, which is the one on the left. And we're gonna hit ascend. Hunt is it's a brand new class. And what we're gonna get in the very beginning is called bark skin. We're gonna gain a brand new skill that's only for this class. And when I cast it, wow, that, that doesn't, wait. Wait, it's only 10%? I thought it was 15. Oh my gosh, that's even better. Okay, so this is really cool. So you're gonna see our skin becomes covered in bark, and when enemies hit us, it's going to remove one of the bark skins. Uh, actually, maybe if we mouse over this, oh, it just tells us. It doesn't really tell us. It tells us in here. So it reserves 10% mana, but uh, you gain one bark for each second if I haven't been hit by an enemy attack recently. I lose one bark when I'm hit by an enemy attack, and there's a maximum of 10 bark. I have minus 30 physical damage taken from attacks per bark, so that's 300 physical damage that I just don't take. And then 2% more chance to evade attacks per bark below minimum. So that means if I have zero bark, uh, I then have, uh, it's per, so it's 20%, uh, uh, yeah, 20%, uh, cause it's two times 10. So 20% more chance to evade targets if I don't happen to have bark. So either way, there's always a benefit even if there's zero. So it's really, really good for physical medication, which is the one weakness of the class, uh, I would say, especially in the early stages. Later we can remove it, but in the early stages, this is gonna be so godly. So now we're gonna finally start act four now that we've gotten a uh, nice little uh, buff, which is awesome. So let's go ahead and continue. So from act uh, four, we're gonna go and go towards the bottom here and we're gonna get like a, a banner, it's a quest item. You wanna play PoE, but you completely, you don't wanna forget about D4 season five. You have some time, man. You have some time before the season starts. So I would recommend playing it. You got like a, a little over a week, man. That's what we're doing here. But I understand if like, you know, you got time and you're like, I don't wanna get too addicted to the game, but you do what you want to do, man. Because I know, like, for myself, I always want to play so many games at once. Nowadays, like, there's just so many games to play. Because when I was a kid, I had to go rent video games. I only got, like, one or two video games a year. So, like, I would play my one video game a year for, like, my birthday or Christmas. Um, or sometimes I would go rent video games. This is something, like, back in the day where you would go to Blockbuster and you'd rent video games. Ooh, this is gonna be pretty juicy for our rewards on this one, man. Got a lot of uh, stuff. But our build is gonna be so much, so much tank here now, which is awesome. But another orb of alchemy, cool. But once we get that upgrade on that belt, that's the next upgrade that I want, which is gonna be about one chaos orb. It's gonna give us extra resistances and so much more damage. Big damage coming up. Or we could look for like maybe a, a five link. That'll also give us actually big damage as well. But I like... Oh, someone got seven years bad luck. That's pretty good. I forgot what we were getting, what we were putting it into. I think, oh, we were getting more HP, that's right. But I, I may want to look into the tincture stuff, as that's brand new, and I think it's actually not that bad. But yeah, we, we are absolutely just demolishing content right now. And we're even tankier because we have these uh, fortification stacks. We take 20% less damage on top of taking 300% less damage. But you can see the bark. So we have 8 right now, so... Uh, recently refers to, I believe, the last four seconds. So if we don't take any damage for four seconds, um, we're going to be able to regrow our bark. But even when the bark isn't there, we have 20% more chance to not take damage because we just evade. <laughs> That's why I love this thing. Like it, it was added in one like specific special league, and I'm so glad that they actually brought it back because I, I liked it a lot. It was very, very, very good, and it's very good for beginners because it's going to make you so tanky. 
And our damage is already good enough, I would say, for this build. So once we get the banner, we can go back. We don't, we don't really need to do anything else. Oh, bo yeah, borrowing your friends' games back in the day. But so with some friends, man, dude, I've loaned out games, and, dude, I never saw them again. So I was... Like, you had to be a really good friend if I was going to loan you a good video game. If it was a bad video game, I, I don't care. But um, let's go ahead and... Do we still run Clarity? I don't remember if we swapped off Clarity. I think we might have swapped off Clarity. So there is more life over there. And if we want to get more damage, there are several different ways to get damage uh, for our build. We can get elemental damage. We could go for claws. There's elemental nodes over here. It's actually probably not bad at all to grab some of these because uh, it's just a lot more damage uh, over there as well. We can start looking at getting crit as well. Again, so many sources of more damage. But I do want to try to make sure we're uh, good on our accuracy real quick. So we're at 969. We're actually getting pretty close. So grabbing these, uh, I'm going to grab one of the accuracy nodes. Once I get one of the other accuracy nodes, I'll be good. We're going to get the plus 500 accuracy, but minus two per level. So eventually it comes down to... Uh, it's still really good to get. Earlier on, you just get it and you're pretty much done. And then later, instead, you can get the uh, dexterity accuracy uh, bonus grants you plus three per level instead of giving you plus one. So we'd get another like 200. That one is good for the whole game. Uh, whereas this one, the plus 500 and then the minus two per level. Obviously, for level 100, that would be minus uh, a lot. But it's still really worth it to get that one until the end of the game. Uh, if you are just looking for accuracy, but we're going to go talk to the NPCs and just continue. Uh, we actually get rid of this quest item. I'll show you guys how to get rid of a quest item that you don't want. We have to get the um, the little banner to continue. So uh, now we're going to go uh, do the Indomitable Spirit, which is another quest. And if you want to get rid of a quest item, just drop it like that. It won't let you delete the item because it's like it's a quest item. But that one we actually don't need. There are some quests in this that are like super optional. That you don't need to do they'll give you either just a small reward of like a random like armor or something and i usually skip out on those ones i will give you guys all of the important quests that will give you skill points those are the important ones to do in um this league apparently one quest is different this guy is super tanky wow uh, we're not going to click on that one. Those ones are the long ones. So if you see these little, like, they almost look like little piles of sand. You can click on them. It's part of doing uh, a, another league mechanic, which is uh, going into the mines. Uh, we'll talk more about some of these things later. I kind of want to just get through the campaign quicker. So we're going to go to the mines from level 1 to level 2, and then we're going to look for a spirit in level 2. And these ones we will do. We'll see what we get for the rewards. But I almost want to try to get another gem, and I'll show you another gem that we can get if I wanted to get even more damage. Because right now we're running Fortify, which is still good. I mean, it's 10% more damage, and then we can get uh, uh, up to 20% damage reduction, so it's... it's probably still not that bad at all to get but like i can definitely feel my damage like it's it's really solid right now heck we can probably remove vitality since we're not even getting hit at all we have all this bark okay so here's the quest so you can see the spirit you just click on it and this is the only quest that we need to do in this entire act that's the only thing that we need to do uh, Act 4 is actually very short. That's why we do the, the whole, like, uh, advanced class also in here with a play session. But this is going to be a relatively faster act. Hopefully this is where the exit is. How much uh, life per second are we getting? 42 life per second. And by the time this act ends, we can get a uh, golem that will also give us massive amount of regen. And the reason why I like to get golem, you can get like a lot of different ones. You can get increased attack speed. Basically, it's like your first little pet, and it's great. The reason why I like getting golem is it lets anyone play and just basically face roll the game. At this point, we're like pretty powerful. 
but we could use like one chaos orb to get like a crazy amount of bonus damage which uh well, once we get a chaos orb we'll we'll talk more about that i don't think these things really give us any good rewards it's specifically the gold that i think is supposed to be the reward for this so you can hold shift to make it so you you don't move and attack you can also uh click on this and then always attack without moving is an option so I think that one's complete. I don't really care about doing the little soul fight things, but that is something that you can do if you want to. I'm not up to that just yet. But yeah, I, I think we can increase our damage by like double if I just have one Chaos Orb. So hopefully we'll get a Chaos Orb. Very soon. How is this? Yeah. Lightning Strike, nice. More damage. And our damage is already really, really solid. And we're gonna get even more damage by getting attack speed and accuracy. But accuracy is actually important because it's also your chance to hit. We already have 100%. It's not gonna be a problem for our build because we scale accuracy. But some builds, they have to actually heavily invest in it. So right now, we talked to Dahlia. We're gonna go left or right. It doesn't matter because you have to do both anyways. Pee-wee seems like D2. Yes, Path of Exile is like D2. So if you weren't a fan of like Diablo 3 or 4, I can highly recommend uh, this game. As it's more difficult, more cryptic in its design. And some people like that. Uh, for me, I'll be honest, I don't really like it when games are cryptic. Um, it helps me as a content creator because I upload video guides, right? How to do this, where's the best farm route. But... I don't think it's the best decision in terms of an like actual game's design to not really explain things to you because you, the player is just going to quit the game. Like, do, do, you, do you want to know how many people actually kill, like, the end game bosses in this game? It's a 0.1%. Uh, actually, the numbers just came out for Diablo, uh, Diablo 4. Only 35% of people actually get to a level 55 character, or 50. I have the screenshot somewhere. But uh, yeah, that's pretty surprising because Diablo, a lot of people are like, dude, Diablo 4 is too easy, right? Uh, and like, I feel like Diablo 4 is, it's challenging enough because like, you do have harder content, but it's just like a number thing. It's not like a skill issue. It's just like, it's actually impossible, right? Go uh, continue. Let's keep on going. Ooh, something dropped over there. Could be good. Could be good. I'm stuck. But you can always use your dash to go through. Keep all these orbs diffusing, as we'll probably trade those uh, for a chaos orb. And uh, after we complete like these two areas, we can go think about uh, getting our upgrade on our sword, or we can go for it right now. We can do a little bit more shopping, even though th this this one had a, a decent amount of shopping in it. But it's a huge part of your progression in this game is to trade for items, and it's really really convenient to do. I mean, I wish that this was all built in game. You didn't have to go to like a website. It's it's kind of like weird that the game is set up this way, but if you're wondering why don't they have things automated, uh, the bots would just buy up everything. But I don't know what stops bot from doing it. They have currency trade. Yeah, but it's it, it's not really that great because like, unless you're giving a really good offer, it's, it's gonna take time because you don't even know what the marketplace is going. Yeah, it sucks. Because it doesn't tell you what it's going for. You could be stupid and like, be wasting your currency. I don't know why it's set up that way, but that's the way it's set up. Because if it told you what the rate is going for, because I guess you could use the website and then look. Oh, we're going to rip? No, we're good. Got that bark skin, man. And you know, I actually like Last Epoch's trade system. Uh, I just don't like that you can't access it ASAP. Dang, this is really, really brutal. With, with, like, even with all this bark skin, oh, we're getting some massive flag. Oh, we got that one belt that we just, uh, we already have. 
tincture. Ooh, and a coral ring. But the, this thing sucks. I already know it sucks. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I hate ranking it up in that last teapot. What graphics card do you have? Oh, yeah, I have a 3090. Oh, thanks, Watch Bro. Uh, probably a stupid question, but can you play this league mostly focusing on settlement and not on the character? Ah, uh, like you just want to play the farming simulator part? I mean, you could, but what would you do with all the extra, like, currency? I mean, you could just upgrade. Yeah, I mean, you could, but you have a timer, though. I, I, I mean, to answer your question, yes, but you'd have, like, a, a one, I think it was, like, 47-minute timer. So, I don't know how effective it would be to do that. Like, go, go have the thing farm for a while, and then you would have to, I guess, go AFK. What's our action? We have almost 2,000. You still need to level still? Oh, are some of the things gated behind levels? Because I know that you can get gold for doing some of the things. At least when I was in there, it was just giving me gold by going in, so... I don't know how much gold it would give you. But now we're coming up to the boss, Kaom. This is a really cool looking boss, but he's like very, 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 very easy. I wish, I genuinely wish he was a little bit harder. Uh, you could basically face tank him. I don't even know why I was, why I was moving. So you need to pick up the eye. And then once you get the eye, you want to go back, and then we're going to go on the right side. And then after we uh, go on the right side, so we're going back to Crystal Veins, and you do not need to get the waypoints. So now we're going to go on the other side, and we have this. Make sure you have this. You have to have another set of room. Oh, dang, I'm out of room. I'm going to play Tetris for a second. We have one little slot here. Our inventory is looking a little bit uh, crowded, but it's okay. I have an extra uh, one of these belts. If anyone wants a chain of endurance, let me know. I usually always hook you guys up with the hand-me-downs just for a town portal scroll. It's the only thing I need in trade. <laughs> the reason why is that you're not allowed to give away items in Path of Exile. So as long as you give me one one town portal scroll or a scroll of wisdom or any mystery item, you can have it for free. I guess they don't want people to like stream the game and like do item giveaways even though you're tr you're trading the item for a scroll of wisdom so it's okay <laughs> i mean it probably doesn't matter but you know just as a content creator that doesn't want to break rules i'll follow it hello i delete game after two hours it is very hard <laughs> so <laughs> path of exile is a hard game but if you follow my guide you'll be a-okay but this game is not again beginner friendly that's why i have guides man it will help you out. Look at this. We're just one-shotting everything. Boom. 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 I can't wait till we get, like, good damage, too. I don't think we really need to level up precision anymore. I think we're good. After we get the plus 500. Because up until, like, 80, that's still minus 160. Right? still super worth it and eventually we may be able to swap off of uh, running precision but yeah we're gonna look into the tincture upgrade because if I can keep this up 100% of the time I actually genuinely think it's pretty good and the other tincture you can actually run double tinctures but we'll see because if I invest in the tinctures I'd probably want to run double there's no way I wouldn't want to run double Ooh, level up. We could also run, um, if we get enough attack speed, we could just run Leap, leap Slam. So what we can do, 
this is optional. I'm just going to go do it real quick. This is 100% optional. I'm just trying to show you guys something cool. If you want, like, another mobility skill that has no cooldown, because this one has a cooldown, you can just get something called Leap. It's Leap Slam, and you can combo Leap Slam with, let's say, Faster Attacks, which is a green one, which is a support. There's a Faster Attacks. And then you can also get, uh, if you want, another green support gem. Uh, let's see. We can, I think, Nightblade... Uh, does that work with, uh... Night, no, no, um... That word does work with claws. We, we could actually run Nightblade. There might be... What is it? Uh, it's... Okay, close combat. There we go. So we can run this, too. So now what we can do, instead of dash, we can just leap everywhere. Oops. So you, you will see how this works if you want to mess around with this. It's optional, but it's another way to play the game. Oh, we actually have a skill point too. And it does damage, it, but we don't have a lot of like investment into it, so it's not going to be crazy for damage. Now we're going to get this extra 500 accuracy. Boom! And then now we have so much accuracy that we're pretty much good for a long time. So 2600. Trinity eventually, which uh, is another source of more damage. Still upgrade dash. Oh, we have more mana. So in this area, some of the areas, they require you to kill some stuff and then you can go through, but you're just really looking for the boss. Big damage. This thing is super tanky. Okay. A very short act on this one. This thing we will go do. into the, the tinctures. I wouldn't mind checking that out. See kind of how that uh, works. But we'll do that like after after this area. And then I can tell you guys if maybe I think it's worth investing into or not. So that was not the right path. Let's see if this is uh, I got the triple boss. Look at that, just melt. Those are triple elites. Oh, that was double. And that one just went down. Okay, the Ring of Blades. This is where the boss is at. Look at this boss. We were absolutely chunking it super hard. Wow. Great stuff. So he has a, a phase where like you can't damage him, so just gotta wait. He'll recover a little bit, but it's really not that big a deal. He's going back to his like can't hit me phase. Oh, we can't hit him again. Yeah, this bark skin fortification is just so easy now. Now I'm pretty sure we can face tank most of the stuff in the game. Except for Izaro. I, I would, would not recommend trying to... Uh, that's the uh, the guy that we killed. That's the thing where we get to get to the super class. I would not recommend doing that on him. But other than that, like... Well, in the campaign at least. Uh, the bosses, generally, you're going to have to kind of move from them. When they do certain attacks. And then we're going to go back now. Actually, we're full on inventory. I don't think anyone's going to want this item for one chaos, but you never know. Now, is it better than the one we have? Oh, it's plus one HP. Okay, I'll take it. And then 
Uh, I don't know if this is really worth anything. So what we can do is we can just throw this on and it penetrates. Wait, that's actually pretty good. Can we augment that for another stat? Increased effect? Oh, that's actually not bad at all. Now, is this worth anything? Yeah, it's going to be really hard for the site to register on. But the fact that you can get, like, uh, like so much stats on this, like, like getting, like, 150% crit strike chance. By the way, the base of the crit is what it goes off. So if it's 5%, 100% crit would be 5 more percent crit. But that one is a little bit more. Let's see if we got anything good here. So we got all attributes, some damage, not too useful. Some elemental damage, some cold res, because our rings definitely need to be replaced. We can get uh, just some stuff with a bunch of resistances. Death, you will be Let's go sell some items that we don't need anymore for like whatever currency. Uh, I'm just gonna get rid of some of these things that like maybe were for quests or we picked up earlier on. That I don't really need. If I had more room though, I wouldn't mind running momentum. This thing, I don't think it's worth anything. Oh, okay, looks like some people are trying to sell it for one chaos. Cool. I just figured it was a really, really easy, unique to get. Uh, let's go get rid of all these because I don't think anyone's gonna want this. This, this we had since like the very first act. But if you if you're running out of room, you can store stuff in your um, stash. But all these, these we should just use or just throw away. Because there's going to be like really low tier ones. You can save them and if you get a bunch, you can upgrade them in tiers. But it takes so dang long. But now we're going to go to the Crystal Fanes again. Go to Diala. And she's going to open up this thing. There's a little animation of a laser we'll shoot at. You don't have to watch it, but you can just go in. Why is everyone playing PewDiePie Echo? Oh, like all of a sudden? It's because there's a new league. So think of it like a new expansion. Like, you know, Diablo getting a new expansion. Kind of like that. It's a new, like, season, if you want to call it that. Diamond ring is for crit. We actually can't really benefit off of crit because we run the precise technique. But yeah, having the ability to just leap around is, is kind of nice. Especially if you get enough attack speed, it will become even better. Oh cool, someone wants to buy an item. So we're going to invite him to the party. And let's go ahead and uh, get this one Chaos Orb. And then we're going to get a lot more damage. And Leap can actually maybe do some damage too. So he wants to buy this item. I'm going to take the item and then I'm going to grab it. And then right click on him. And then we go to uh, Trade. Oh, he's over here. We're going to go teleport to his hideout. And then we're going to go right click, go to trade, and then we are going to trade him the item. Boom. Bam. Sounds good. We got one Chaos Orb. Cool, cool, cool. And you're going to go back to town. And we're also going to get an upgrade. Um, let's do the upgrade after after we get to the next like waypoint. Now, it's optional, obviously, on all these trade things, but this will happen from time to time where someone wants to trade an item with you that you have listed. We'll talk more about how to trade later and like some other stuff. Because trading an item and, like, you giving the, the person, like, the currency is way easier uh, than you listing the item. That, there's a couple more steps in it. It's not that bad, though, once you understand it. Dang, some of these things are just, like, so much tankier than they should be. How come these didn't get one-shotted? that fortification. My mana is Prismatic. Gone. Oh, that's the one that we actually use, right? Well, we're only allowed to run one tincture, but the tinctures are so strong that, uh, like I was mentioned before, I might actually invest in them, but we'll see what they kind of look like for now i'm not even going to pay attention i'm just going to get more hp Ooh, another chaos orb Ooh, whoa that was some big damage right there abnormal damage maybe it's good we keep on the fortification like we have enough damage obviously in the build like 
absolutely just deleting most of the stuff. This one has extra life, so I tend to survive for a little bit. Do I like making a guide every single season for this game? Well, I mean, I'm going to play it regardless. And, like, since I stream anyways, I kind of just talk about what I'm doing while playing. But yeah, I, I enjoy doing it for two reasons. Uh, one, it's good for newer players to get into the game, because I get asked all the time, you know, I, I tried Path of Exile, it's kind of hard, and I'm like, oh, you know, it's not that bad once you like kind of understand it. I mean, I would stream this game regardless because it's fun, and then I get to get clips, you know, sometimes if a really good thing drops, or, you know, I I genuinely like Path of Exile. Like, it's not like I get paid to play the game. Well. I mean, they're not, they're not sponsoring, but technically with, like, you know, ad rev on YouTube, Twitch. I mean, that technically does pay, but I, I would play the game regardless. You see what but now we're coming up to Piety, and uh, this boss over here? Where's our current one? Okay. Well, we could probably actually run something else uh, with our tincture as well. But as far as Piety goes, she does do a, like, a helicopter attack uh, that spins around. You'll see once it comes time to do it gonna do it pretty soon she's doing her charge charging her laser and she just does a little spin attack it's not that bad though you just obviously don't stand in it boom she's gone you've just earned yourself some bigger prey huntress they're just gonna talk to us and then we're gonna use that chaos orb. We actually have two chaos orbs now, which is great. We can actually get two to Sally assigned and then our damage goes crazy. Which is something I'm considering doing. And then we just get gotta get some gloves. Or some boots with some good movement speed. Half their HP down already, which is the Leap Slam. You can make Leap Slam your main form of attacks, too. Alright, so what I want to do is I'm going to get a better weapon uh, real quick. And I have two Chaos Orbs. I'm just going to spend one real quick. And this way you guys can see the uh, the process here. So we're going to go back to the trade website. Uh, Prism we wouldn't be that bad of an option because it does give us a bunch of damage. Actually, oh, this is this the, the cheapest is... The cheapest is now two. Okay, maybe this is going up in price, but it's fine. It'll it'll go down to one chaos. It's not like a super rare one, anyways. But I just need any sort of weapon, uh, and I just want to sort it by the DPS. And ideally, I want it to be like level 45 or lower. Uh, actually, 40, 41. Uh, so the uh, where is it? Level requirements. Level 41 to be max level. And we just hit search. Sort by DPS. Boom. Actually, we need to also sort that. Uh, we also only want to pay one Chaos Orb. Okay, so there we go. Boom. We have a sword with uh, 400. It's corrupted, which kind of sucks because what uh, a corrupted thing means is we can't really modify the weapon. So four links, so that's kind of nice to have. But uh, I, I, I think we get the first one. Like, that's just, that's fine. Six hours ago. Let's see if this guy is ready to trade. Hopefully he'll send us an invite. And we'll get this item. Cool. Probably should look at the strength requirements too. Uh, 48 and 60. Okay, that's fine. So now we're going to go to his hideout. And once again, trade for the item. And then our DPS going to go way up. I believe ours is 200. And this is uh, 500 and something. Oh, 514. So we're going to get more than double DPS uh, from our previous one. But again, it's corrupted, which means we can't like change the sockets and stuff, which kind of sucks. But like, it's fine. It's a, it's gonna be a replacement item, anyways. So now we're gonna go back over here and let's check out how much damage we're getting because it should be pretty massive. So our lightning strike is four thousand nine hundred, and we swapped this. Boom! We're now at eleven thousand. That is crazy, man. All right, now we're gonna go kill uh, Malachi's three guardians. But we're gonna have to go down here first. So our damage is really good. And do I have points? Oh, I have, I have refund points left. Okay. 
What about when we pop this? We're at 16,000. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. He didn't even get to do any of his abilities. Uh, the build is just too strong. That's crazy, man. We need to try out those retaliation skills. I was hearing that they're actually super, super insane. Let's try them out. Uh... Uh, after we kill these three bosses we get to the other one. It does require you to block though, which I actually don't have a way to block right now <laughs> So I actually we, we can't even try them out. So this boss. Okay. This is something I should explain There's kind of like these Venn diagrams. So if you stand in the red one That means you take more damage if you stand in the green one. It makes you uh, deal less damage and the um The things can overlap so you can basically take all these negative effects so you can either get like slowed down or you just deal less damage or you take more damage. I stand the red one, I'll just take the damage because then I'm like, I'm still doing damage. This boss, they'll summon books and then you just don't want to stand inside the books. That's all I need to do. It's like the only like mechanic with this one. I figured I'd show you that because if, if not, we might just eliminate her too fast. Oh, she's dead. Uh, the reason why it can get dangerous and I should show you it is because, uh, yeah, if you get a bunch of overlaps, it's no good. Oh, wait, is this, this is the league mechanic? What are we at? Uh, we're at just like one, okay. We're just gonna see how much, uh, we get for rewards. Also, I think this one gives us the, uh, bonus, doesn't it? Okay, cool. So we get this awesome little shrine effect. Talk to Pai T. And then we go open up the core. We have 20 seconds. Let's see if we can melt the boss super fast. Let's also see if we can um, augment this. Produce. Ooh, that's nice. Because what this does is it burns your mana. Oh my gosh, the meteors, man. That's kind of like some cool cheese that you can do. Meteors just melted his HP instantly. So, what you do is you damage him for a while, and then you have to attack Piety. And then you gotta go back to attacking him. And then we go to the Black Heart. Let us see if you truly understand what it means to be Nightmare. So now we attack him, and man, this damage is really good. So you're going to do damage to him, and then he's going to require you to attack one of these little hearts. There's three hearts in total. But he's actually pretty easy. It's just when he shoots out all these little tentacles, don't stand in it. It will deal damage. So... Second to last one. You are being selfish. Nightmare is the true intelligence. Okay, destroy the last one. Are you so in love with death? Let's pop the tincture and then just watch his HP just get deleted. Taking a lot of damage. That was really easy. Yeah, our damage was way higher, but even if we had like half the damage, that's still really good. Very nice. But yeah, we definitely need to upgrade on a lot of things. Okay, specifically, the the belt that we have is really, really bad. What we should be looking out for on the belt is uh, getting a bunch of resistances and life. I'm going to talk to the NPCs. There's probably a bunch of uh, quests that we have to complete. I know for sure we have Tsuni for the Indomitable Spirit, which is the only quest in this act that we actually do, which gives us a uh, uh, book of skill. And then now we, we really have like a lot of options. So if I want to get more um, evasion, there's like a evasion mastery over here where you get 100% increased evasion rating from your armor. You can also get 10% increased movement speed. I actually kind of want to get that movement speed. And it's going to give us some extra resistances, so I don't think it's bad at all. I'm just going to go grab this. More movement speed is actually more defenses and kind of speeds up your progress in the game too. 
But giving us extra resistances is definitely nice. It's, we're not like fully capped out. You can go to 75 and then you can get what's called maximum resistances and it can go further. But now we're going to get to the next act over here and we're actually going to get a uh, golem as a reward as well. So we can get multi-strike, which does work well with what we're using. So we get multi-strike. If we had another red one, I would definitely think about doing that. That will give us way more damage. Uh, multi-strike is the one that I would probably recommend getting. Uh, and then we can also get uh, summon the stone golem, which will give us 42 life per second, which is basically going to uh, replace our, oh, well, well, let me mouse over it. Uh, that can replace it, or I can get extra physical damage reduction. I can get increased accuracy. Um, I can get a lightning golem, which will give us more attack speed. It's up to you what you want to get. Uh, I'm going to get the stone golem for the sake of it being super beginner friendly. I'm also going to level up multi-strike. And then we're going to go to the ascent. So we're going to get to the next act, and that will wrap up uh, this one. Uh, this is no no paid DLC path fix. That was 100% free, man, my friend. So I'm gonna have to summon the stone golem. And now our life per second is like 100 life per second, which is pretty dang great. So there's a granite flask, gives us 1500 armor, which is really good. But now we're gonna get the extra um, resistances. And next up, we're gonna get uh, some more movement speed. This is the thing that's always worth doing. I don't really feel like it gives us anything but that bonus, though. Like, in terms of drops, wow, that's a lot of damage, though. Okay, that's pretty crazy. It's got Crush on hit. Which I believe makes us take even more damage. Well, I'm sure that it, that gives us some sort of currency. Unless it's just for the shrine. But the shrine was so worth it. So you guys saw, like, how fast it deleted that boss. Even though that boss has phases, I'm kind of curious to see if, if you can somehow go into the pinnacle bosses with those. I know you can go into the um, conquerors with with those sort of buffs, but later once we get the, the goal, we're going to be going even crazier. But I already feel like this build is really coming together for like its speed. Especially on a four link. But maybe this build will do so much damage we can just keep him fortification. Because getting 20% damage reduction is quite nice. So what we're looking for is just like this little area where we pull down a lever. And there's a portal that comes out. And then we're in the slave no pens. To be so in this area, if the gates have a small like crack in it, I'll show you what I'm talking about. You can actually leap through it. It's actually very helpful for a lot of the uh, objectives in this area. As it's going to significantly increase the speed certain things but our golem, golem once it levels up it will also give us more life regen so it's gonna be awesome the reason why i like having a bunch of life regen by the way uh instead of getting let's say grace is there's a lot of traps in this game that i just want to completely bypass because that slows you down and it is still defensive at the end of the day but the fact that barks can only cost 10 mana is absolutely amazing can maybe throw in another aura once we finish the build. Watch out for those things. Those volatile flame bloods and all these things that kind of affect your character. Let's see if we get some better boots. I doubt it. This one gives us movement speed, life, and it comes with strength. It's, it's going to be very hard to replace, but you never know, man. Now we get to go to the tower. Put down a little like ladder for us to go up, and then now we are in Act Five. I was always a rebel. Part Five, Glad but that's gonna wrap up Part Four, Act Four. And uh, if we did want to get some upgrades, I would recommend getting that belt. By the time this video is uploaded, that belt is probably one chaos orb. So if you happen to have one, I might get one. Um, also, uh, what you want to try to do, just to wrap up the vid because we're like an hour here. Um, Try to get your resistances up. Uh, I, I'm already going to be getting... I don't need to really get this one. 
but getting resistances is definitely good. There's actually a couple areas. You can also use this to search, but there is uh, an area over here, uh, which will give you plus one to max res. That's actually a pretty good thing to get. Um, there's also a, let's see, cause they, they have actually updated the skill tree. There's actual penetration of resistances. I, mean, I think that's all the only resistances you'll be able to get actually here. I don't know if they've updated, but I did want to check out the tincture stuff. Um, but you know what? This there's sensors like was there three clusters? Oh, there's four. Okay, we're gonna actually have to say that maybe for later, and I'll let you guys know if it's actually worth investing into. As I mean, several clusters that's gonna be a lot. But if you need to get more HP, the next point that we're gonna get, by the way, is going to be uh, over here. Um, and uh, what we're gonna get is increased movement speed. Then we're gonna get all this extra bonus life over here. This is kind of what we're shooting for. But that's gonna wrap up this part of our play session. If you guys enjoyed it, drop a like or well. I'll see you guys in part five, act five, very, very soon.